just a couple things. Uh, this is like, I want to say at least two times the amount of people we normally get for meetings. So this is unusual, but I'm actually kind of pleased with kind the of. turnout. Kind of. Kind of the um, second thing is we usually get a bigger room over in building three, that's the lecture hall. We usually take like bio or physics classes there. Um, but since our club registration paperwork didn't come in until two days ago and room reservation requests take five business days, basically we had to scramble to find a room. This is the largest room in building eight that was on so that's why we're here. Um, just like a quick show of hands, like who's, who's like a freshman? Uh, who's sophomore? And then who's who's like graduating at the end of the year? It's pretty even. It's interesting. We usually uh, skew towards the later years, but it's nice to see that we're not this year. Cool. Uh, you can keep walking to sign up and get pizza. I'm just gonna go through this. Today's meeting will be pretty short. We're gonna probably even shorter just because I don't want you guys standing that long. Um, we're just going to go over what CSS is in more depth than just what I could have said in a five minute talk. Uh, and we're also going to go over what we've done over the year and get some meeting for us. Oh, I'm like recording. Early workshops and that type of sort of thing. Okay. So, I think it's important for any organization that you understand, like, who's in charge of us, so to speak. So, we're under the university. Technically, we're under the CS department, then under the College of Science, and then under the Associated Student. What's the ASS? Associated Student Incorporated. Incorporated something. I don't know. <laughs> we eventually answer to ASI, which is like the student body uh, government. Um, there are only three other clubs under the Computer Science Department. There's Sheet Codes, there's Game Dev Club, and there's the Ignite. And there, I think they seem to be Ignite doing it. Meeting in a different room. She codes meets on Tuesdays. I have no clue when game dev club meets. Um, but the other and probably more important part is that we're part of the ACM. The ACM is like the big professional and academic organization for computer science. They do conferences, journals, like all of your professors who do research try to get published through the ACM. Um, they've got like a huge digital library of pretty much all the publications. And they do weekly releases of like what's new in research in computer science. Um, just an introduction to the eboard, we're going to go around and just say what your name is, raise your hand, what year you are, what you like about computer science. Tony's not here, so is Lloyd here? Okay. Uh, Josh? What's up? I'm uh, the secretary this year. I'm a fifth year. Uh, Secretary two years now. Um, back. Uh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> this, this is Jose. Usually goes by Fernando. Yeah, this is Fernando. Um, I'm my second year of uh, computer science. So what I like about computer science is that we're able to like, like we have so much like if you think about it, like we we put a lot of stuff on our phone. So it's kind of cool how like. We eventually work for like companies, like they can trust us with like personal information. And so like we can develop like apps and stuff that like is able to you know protect like personal information. That's what I like about computer science. But uh, yeah, fun fact, I like I'm really like an obsession over shoes. It's like my little thing. So uh, yeah, is that? Uh, he's treasurer, so money. when money starts happening, he's in charge of it. <laughs> Uh, these are the people who actually sent me pictures. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, where's Eli? I'm right here. Hi. I am Eli. I am the historian of the Computer Science Society. Um, I'm basically in charge of this camera right here. Um, second year. I like computer science because it allows you to not have to do stuff yourself. You can just get the computer to do stuff for you. And that's really nice. It's Jesse. So I'm Jesse, I'm the upper customer representative, as you can see, I'm a second year. I think I like computer science a lot because you're surrounded by technology so much in every aspect in your daily life. And to be able to code it and kind of interact with it directly seems like you have so much control over your surroundings. So I kind of like that a lot. Uh, I'm Danielle, I'm a senior, 
And the thing that I like the most about computer science is that there are just so many applications in several different fields. Uh, this past summer, I interned at JPL, and actually a lot of people at Cal Poly that are in computer science end up interning there. So um, whether or not you're doing like web development or you want to do stuff for uh, like software, there are just so many applications for computer science. Hi, my name is Byung Hun Lee, I'm PR. You can also call me Michael. Uh, I'm a fourth year, and the thing I like about CS is that I just kind of like coding in general, so nothing specific. I like everything with CS as long as it works. So, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't always work. It doesn't, it doesn't always, always work. work. Interesting. All right. So, what do we, what, what's our goal here? We try to prepare you for careers in, after you graduate, usually. Uh, we're also trying to connect you together. We're also trying to build a network of computer science students because I'm sure maybe you don't get your dream job, but maybe your friend does, and maybe we'll have some tips for you down the line. That's kind of invaluable. Um, you'll notice that these are uh, remarkably similar, similar with the department's goals, and that's not like uh, that's not by coincidence. We try. We work really closely with the professors and faculty here. Um, so how do we go about that? We got resume interviews and interview prep, which is going to be probably the bulk of what we do here. Is trying to get you job hunting skills and just be ready for technical interviews. We've got a couple of speakers lined up. We've got a guy coming up from uh, Sony Santa Monica. We've got a <coughs> prof coming in from Harvey Mudd to talk about computer vision. Um, it's more incoming, but in the middle of negotiations. Uh, we do the ACM International Programming Competition. It's going to be happening November 11th. We're going to have, I'm talking with Prof Yusun, who's in charge of software development. Uh, he, not really in charge of, he teaches software engineering here. But he's going to help us uh, set that up probably in the next two or three weekends. Probably be on a Saturday, because we need like three hours, because these are beefy questions that get asked at the uh, competition. We also do socials. We're going to try and get a, like a bowling or a room ball social up and running, but we also do our end of the year picnic. And then, of course, food. Although I didn't, I kind of underestimated the amount of people who were going to show up. Sorry. Um, so, membership. You don't have to pay membership to come to meetings or the socials or get food. You don't have to be a member. But we do have membership, and it's thirty dollars for the whole year, not quarterly. That's it covers you for fall, winter, spring. Um, we haven't. We still need to talk with ASI about finances, so we're not going to be accepting payments until later in October. Um, yeah. Uh, what exactly do we get? This slide is. <laughs> what did a membership get me? You become a member of the ACM, which is normally a $40 thing for the year, but you guys are getting it for, I think, oh, or is it so 20 or 25 But basically, you're getting a big discount on that membership. What you get to that, you get access to all of the research that gets published through the ACM, through their digital library. You get their uh, weekly newsletter? It's like a magazine. Yeah. Like, I don't know there's a word for that. I should know this. <laughs> Anyways, but they also do <laughs> webinars. Like last week they had uh, Faye I think her name was. She's a director of artificial intelligence research at Stanford and the basically the brain behind ImageNet, which is Google's big um, image classification thing. And she did a lecture on that, which is pretty interesting. You get access to all that. Um, but you also get access to events. So like the programming competition, I don't think you have to be a member to get to the programming competition since the department's funding us for that. But um, other events that they do and like conferences you get to go to. Um, in addition to that, we're gonna have club t-shirts probably around winter that you get if you're a member. Um, and you also get graduation cords if you're, if you're a graduating member. Uh, they usually just say CSS on them, they're like little things you where to uh, graduation. Look nice. Also, Pizza Fund is, uh, I don't know how to put this. We pull sources of income where we can in order to fund the pizza. So um, when ASI can reimburse us, we get, get it through that, but it also mostly comes through membership dues. Okay. 
so as far as what's coming up really soon, if we're gonna have the pre-trials for the international programming competition, I'll have more details on that once I've worked it out with Dr. Sun. And we've got the Google job prep stuff that's coming up on the 4th and the 5th, which is next week. Uh, so Wednesday, if you're a sophomore or a freshman, or I'm pretty sure they'll let juniors and seniors participate as well, they're gonna be doing, um, I assume they're just presentations on how to get what to do while you're in college to help you have better chances once you graduate to get a job. And then on the fifth, for juniors and seniors, um, they're doing a resume and a interview prep workshop, which are gonna be run by actual Google engineers who would be the people who will be actually running your uh, technical interview if you got for that. Which I would heavily encourage you to sign up and go to. It's through Handshake, yeah. which is like this new service that Career Center is trying to push. I, I've never heard of it before now, but it works, so. It's like a CSU wine thing. Yeah, I thought it was going to change the Okay, any questions? Good. Um, one last thing. So, for next week, what I have tentatively planned is a tutorial on source control, namely Git, although it applies pretty much anywhere. If you get a job in software, you're going to be using source control, uh, unless your job is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a laughing matter. I know a couple of alumni who are like begging their managers to start using source control. Um, <laughs> but we're going to be doing a tutorial on that. I've got to get things set up. We're going to basically walk through that and maybe get some more advanced stuff if we have enough time. But, um, I also want input on what specifically you would like workshop, workshops on. The ones I've got planned so far in the future are a resume workshop and technical interview prep, which will probably be over several weeks, because we'll be working through an interview book. But I was wondering if there are any specific topics that you'd like to have workshops on. Just get input from the club. Anybody? Don't be shy. Okay, don't be shy, guys. Come on. I know we're not that okay, social. Okay, all but, like neural net stuff. Okay, like uh, run through like a framework like uh, Theano or TensorFlow. Yeah. I could probably do that. I did some of that over summer. Uh, I could also get, I think how G uh, does a lot of that in his research. I could talk to him about it. Yeah. Machine learning. Well, that's yeah. uh, neural networks is a subset of machine. That. I think we have a club that does that, but it's through um, Camp Plunge there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, anything that has to do with blockchain? Blockchain technology. Okay, so that's relatively new. There were a couple of alumni that I know that have used that, that I could email. Um, and also, Dr. Hussein's been looking at it. So I could talk to him. Blockchain technology. Okay, so you heard of the technology's been around for a while, but the reason why it's popular now is cryptocurrency. So if you've heard of uh, Bitcoin, it's sort of a entire monetary currency that's built on top of this technology. And the technology is like sort of decentralizing records of transactions way I've had it explained to me. So instead of, so if you buy something from say Costco, like pizza, they have a record of the transaction. But Costco could just change that record. It would be illegal, but they could like change the record and like say, oh, you never paid us or something crazy like that. Um, but what blockchain does is it says everybody gets a copy of the record. And so if one person makes a change on it, Everybody else who has a copy of the record doesn't have that change on theirs, and they can point to the guy who made the change and say, hey, he's screwing with the system. Um, it's a lot more complicated than that, but that's like the four dummies version that I was given. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I think we'll uh, let you all out early then so you can stop standing. Again, we'll try and get the bigger room in building three by next week. 
Make sure you sign in if you're here. Sign up's over there. If you did not sign in, please do so. Helps is on over there. Uh, if all of you guys here could send me yeah. me or Danielle one more time. Oh, it's probably not that important now. Today or tomorrow. Okay.